Hello, welcome to the Daily News Ukraine channel. Today is February 12th and our daily review of news about Ukraine. The World Bank and the World Health Organization estimate the damage inflicted by Russian aggression on Ukraine's healthcare system at $26 billion. That's according to Health Minister Viktor Lyashko, who spoke in an interview with Ukraine Forum. At the same time, according to the Health Ministry's assessment, the restoration of affected healthcare infrastructure will cost up to $1 billion. As for the financial assessment, where we have access to the facilities that have been destroyed and damaged, we look at the price per square meter for the hospital, using the design and estimate documentation for other facilities for 2021. We have calculated the average price for all the facilities and now we can actually talk about the amount of up to $1 billion that is needed to bring them to the pre-invasion condition. At the same time, specialists with the World Bank and World Health Organization calculate by their methodology not only the recovery to the condition as of February 24, but also lost investment and other lost potentials that the affected hospitals could generate. They estimate the damage to Ukraine's healthcare system at tens of billions of dollars. In particular, the last figure they presented in late September 2022 was $26 billion, Liashko said. Read also, invaders setting up additional field hospitals in Luhansk region due to heavy losses, the minister added that the state has no access to the healthcare facilities located in the temporarily occupied territories so the degree of their damage cannot be assessed at the moment. According to the minister, 1,218 healthcare facilities were damaged as a result of Russian aggression. Of them, 173 objects were destroyed by more than 90 percent. As Lyashko noted, in such cases, the facilities are not to be restored. Erecting new buildings, based on new projects, will be on the table. As reported, since the start of the full-scale war, at least 24 medics have been killed, and more than 60 have been injured. Photo, NBU On Sunday morning, Russian troops shelled Nikopol, Dnipropetrovsk region, with barrel artillery. Serhii Lysak, head of the Dnipropetrovsk Regional Military Administration, said this in a Telegram post, Ukraineform reports. Following the last night's silence, the aggressor shelled Nikopol in the morning. They fired barrel artillery, he wrote. According to Lysak, a 53-year-old woman was killed as a result of the shelling. According to preliminary information, an 87-year-old woman was injured. She has a shrapnel wound. Read also, invaders strike at least 15 settlements in Kharkiv region over past day in addition, for multi-story buildings, a water supply facility and a college building were damaged. As reported, the enemy shelled the Nikopol district three times on February 11 hitting the Koppel and the Marinets and Myrov communities with heavy artillery. Civilians were not injured. I. Russian troops, deployed on the Kinban Spit, shell the Ochikiv direction to prevent Mykolaiv region from participating in the grain export deal. The rotation there is connected with the difficult moral and psychological state of the enemy. Natalia Humeniuk, head of the Joint Coordination Press Center of the Operational Command South, said this during the nationwide telethon Yedni Navani, when commenting on the situation on the Kinban Spit, Ukraineform reports. If we look at the geography of the Kinban Spit of the peninsula, which is connected by land to temporarily occupied Kherson region, we see that the main buildup of troops is located at the root of this peninsula, where they feel more or less protected, far from the defense forces of Ukraine. The fact that they put forward some of their objects under fire damage, deploy fire positions on the other side of the Kinban spit closer to Ochikiv, these are the cases when they act at these certain points and then immediately get out of there. Because they understand that they will come under attack in return, Humeniuk said. Read also, British intelligence analyses situation in Dnipro Delta, on Kinban spit according to her, over the past day, the enemy again shelled the Ochikiv direction, struck the water area, continuing terrorism on international sea transport routes in order to prevent Mykolaiv region from joining the Grain Agreement. In addition, the invaders destroy critical infrastructure to deprive the local population of basic amenities. Commenting on the rotation of Russian troops on the Kinban spit, Humeniuk noted, 
The fact that the enemy is trying to conduct the rotation of personnel is more related to their moral and psychological state. Because a long-term stay there without certain combat successes demoralizes people. As reported, the armed forces of Ukraine eliminated about 137,780 Russian soldiers from February 24, 2022, to February 12, 2023, including 900 invaders in the past day alone. I. The increase in Russian casualties in the war against Ukraine is likely due to a range of factors including lack of trained personnel, coordination, and resources at the front. The UK Defence Ministry said this in its latest intelligence update on the situation in Ukraine, Ukraineform reports. It is noted that over the past two weeks, Russia has likely suffered its highest rate of casualties since the first week of the invasion of Ukraine in February 2022. The Ukrainian General Staff released daily statistics on Russian casualties. Although defense intelligence cannot verify Ukraine's methodology, the trends the data illustrate are likely accurate, the report says. The Defense Ministry said that the mean average for the last seven days was 824 casualties per day, over four times the rate reported over June-July 2022. Read also, Ukrainian forces kill 900 Russian invaders on February 11. The uptick in Russian casualties is likely due to a range of factors including lack of trained personnel, coordination, and resources across the front, this is exemplified in Volodar and Bakhmut, the report says. In its previous intelligence update, the UK Defence Ministry said that the regular Russian military has likely deployed in Ukraine the vast majority of the reservists called up under partial mobilization, and they need to conduct a further form of mobilization so that they can continue the war. I. On February 11, Russian invaders shelled at least 15 settlements in Kharkiv region, 13 residential buildings were destroyed in Vovchansk. Ola Hubov, head of the Kharkiv Regional State Administration, said this in a Telegram post, Ukraineform reports. During the past day, the enemy shelled the border settlements of Chuiv and Kupiansk districts with artillery, mortars, and aircraft. At least 15 settlements came under enemy fire, he wrote. As a result of massive shelling and an airstrike on Vovchansk, 13 residential buildings and commercial buildings were destroyed. In addition, a building of the National Police was damaged. No casualties were reported. Read also, Russian shell Kherson region 49 times over past day, one person injured Sini Hubov reminded that yesterday, around 23.15, the enemy launched another missile attack on Kharkiv. An enterprise was damaged, a large-scale fire broke out. A Nova Pashta depot was also struck. As a result of the attack, a 35-year-old civilian was injured. He was taken to the hospital in moderate condition. As reported by Ukraineform, on February 11, Russian aggressors again shelled Kharkiv, striking the city with S-300 missiles, damaging infrastructure. I. Russian companies have begun to open representative offices in the temporarily occupied areas of Luhansk region. Companies from Russia are opening their representative offices in occupied Luhansk region and quickly absorb local competitors. In particular, the so-called State Bank of the LPR for some reason has decided to join one of the Russian ones. Together, with all the customers whom no one asked for, the Luhansk Regional Military Administration wrote on Telegram. The regional administration emphasized that it's now the turn of mobile network companies as well. The mobile network operators continue to provide services, but the Russian government has already instructed that a single mobile operator be created in the so-called LPR, DPR, as well as in the captured territories of Zaporizhia and Kherson regions. Thus, the locals were given a hint that these operators, as well as some other businesses, would no longer work there. Read also, Ukrainian forces repel 11 enemy attacks in two regions in addition, in Severodonetsk, under the guise of restoration works, teams of mail workers continue to open apartments without the owner's permission. City residents note that not only small things and household appliances disappear during inspections of apartments of citizens who have evacuated. They, workers, even manage to disassemble and remove such structures as a wardrobe or kitchen furniture, 
which requires more than one hour of work. In exchange, in some cases, they install batteries or a window, even if you have it and it is unbroken, the administration wrote. As reported by Ukraine Forum, Russians officially turned off the mobile internet in the captured part of Luhansk region. Moreover, the invaders are massively checking children's smartphones in schools. I. On February, Russian invaders shelled Kherson region 49 times, one person was injured. In Kherson city, the Ostrov Island neighborhood suffered the most from shelling. One person was injured in Kherson region due to Russian shelling over the past day, the Kherson Regional Military Administration wrote on Telegram. Russian invaders shelled Kherson region 49 times. Peaceful settlements in the region were struck with artillery, MLRS, mortars, tanks. Moreover, a missile attack was launched on the region. Read also, two communities in Mykolaiv region come under enemy shelling Kherson city came under Russian attacks 11 times, the Ostrov Island neighborhood suffered the most. Residential buildings were damaged in the city. As reported by Ukraine Forum, the enemy attacked Zaporizhia region 142 times on February 11, causing destruction. I. On the night of February 12, Russian invaders shelled the Ochakiv and Kutsurb communities of Mykolaiv region. Mykolaiv district, yesterday, February 11, at 12.18 and from 2300 hours, the enemy launched artillery strikes on the Ochakiv community's water area and populated area. A residential building was damaged. There were no casualties, Vitaly Kim, head of the Mykolaiv Regional Military Administration, wrote on Telegram. Read also, Russian forces kill one civilian, injure 10 more in Donetsk region in past day. The regional governor also added that on February 11, at 1550 and 2310, enemy strikes were recorded outside the settlements of the Kutsurub community. No casualties were reported. In Mykolaiv city, the Pervomaysk, Vosnesinsk and Bashtenka districts, the day and night passed relatively calmly. As reported by Ukraine Forum, on February 10, Russian troops launched attacks on the Ochakiv community. I. The Russian army killed one civilian and injured 10 more in Donetsk region on February 11. Pavlo Kirilenko, head of the Donetsk Regional Military Administration, said this in a Telegram post, Ukraine Forum reports. On February 11, Russians killed one civilian in Donetsk region, in Bakhmut. Ten more people in the region were injured, he wrote. Read also, Ukrainian forces kill 900 Russian invaders on February 11, he noted that it is currently impossible to establish the exact number of victims in Mariupol and Volnavaka. As reported, the Ukrainian military continues to eliminate Russian invaders. In particular, Ukrainian defenders repelled 11 enemy attacks in Luhansk and Donetsk regions on February 11. I. The armed forces of Ukraine eliminated about 137,780 Russian soldiers from February 24, 2022, to February 12, 2023, including 900 in the past day alone. The General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine said this in its latest update published on Facebook. Moreover, the Ukrainian defenders destroyed 3,280 enemy tanks, plus 13 over the past day, 6,488 armored combat vehicles, plus 14, 2,287 artillery systems, plus 17, 465 MLRS, plus 2, 234 anti-aircraft warfare systems, 296 aircraft, plus 1, 286 helicopters, 2007 tactical unmanned aerial vehicles, plus 10, 857 cruise missiles, 18 warships slash boats, 5,148 vehicles and fuel trucks, plus 14, and 215 pieces of special equipment, plus 1. Today we were talking about those news. World Bank, who believed damage to Ukraine's healthcare system stands at $26 billion. Woman killed as Russians shell Nikopol with barrel artillery. Russia shells Mykolaiv region to prevent its participation in grain deal, Humaniuk. British intelligence names reasons behind significant Russian losses in Ukraine. 
Invaders strike at least 15 settlements in Kharkiv region over past day. Russian companies opening representative offices in captured Luhansk region. Russian shell Kherson region 49 times over past day, one person injured. Two communities in Mykolaiv region come under enemy shelling. Russian forces kill one civilian, injure 10 more in Donetsk region in past day. Ukrainian forces kill 900 Russian invaders on February 11th.